So as usual, we're waiting until the last minute to do a project. We gotta fix the brakes on this truck. Now we're not gonna use the Harbor Freight jack stands for safety purposes. We're gonna go with the don't get underneath anything heavy safety method. So I should explain the problem. This truck has had the shakes for a while. Basically right around 62, 63 mile an hour. Now originally, thought it was the drive shaft that was out of balance. But we worked through that, balanced it with hose clamps, no improvement. Tires have been rotated, balanced, no difference. It came down to the drums. And as you can see, there's a little bit of corrosion on these drums. I almost want to say these are the original ones for the truck. Uh, but they're still in good shape, you know, on the inside. However, all that scale, I was starting to be able to just chip it off with a hammer. And over time, that got out of balance. You can see these slots here are where they balance them from the factory. I mean, it's just like a tire. These have to be in balance too. Now, we knew this was a serious mechanical problem when it couldn't be drowned out by the radio. So the reason I know it's the drums is last year we actually ran those on the old tire bubble balancer and tried to get them a bit closer in balance and it made a significant difference. Uh, the truck shakes almost went away completely and everything was good. However after a new winter harvest of rust things are getting out of balance again. And trying to balance this thing on here isn't quite the most repeatable just due to the fact that the inside diameter doesn't center very well on here and your weight uh, is not f too far out from the center. So I think on a tire you have a lot more leverage to get your balance right whereas this thing's a lot closer to the center and nowhere near as accurate. So the obvious solution is to just get new drums that are you know balanced from the from the factory. Well I went on Rock Auto and was looking them up and uh, they're almost 75 bucks a piece you know plus shipping. So I was like alright stop what you're doing we got to reevaluate the situation now there's nothing really wrong with these drums other than being slightly off balance so these need to get balanced and we don't have a special machine to do that we just need to somehow find the heavy spot on it so here's what the plan is you got a drum and there's a heavy spot on it somewhere we're gonna balance this thing essentially on a straight edge okay maybe not right in the center but balance it to the point and you're, you're gonna have a heavy spot is gonna you know weigh heavier on that side now I don't have a professional drum brake balancer but I do have some small scales I mean this is pretty cheap but you know for what it is it's fairly accurate so we need a device to consistently center that bore onto a straight edge that that thing is going to kind of rock on like that and we're going to put the scale underneath a spot on here and keep rotating the drum around until we find the heaviest spot so there she is that looks professional grade to me we had some of this aluminum channel just sitting around and yeah that's what we cut up and used you could use angle iron or you know regular steel channel or whatever you got all you need is uh, some flat surfaces and uh, something you can attach, you know, perpendicular on there to be the centering device. So this is the centering post. You need two points of contact, and when you put the drum on here, you're going to center it up on both of those, and it's going to slide down and sit on that channel. We might need to add an extra piece of steel or angle down in here somewhere, either at the edge or somewhere in the center, you know, to get your pivot point to where you need it. And it just so happens to work out that this little scale fits right in there. So there's the setup. So it works out pretty good on here that this back side of the channel is your pivot point. You can put just a little bit of pressure here to lift it up. Now you might have to adjust that if you have a different bore size or different scrap metal size or, you know, one size fits none. So once you slide the scale underneath there, and you let it pivot back down we're going to get a reading for the number one position and we'll just keep working around keeping track of what the numbers are 
So there's the numbers we got. Scale was maxed out on that one. Might not hurt to move the pivot point slightly more towards the center so there's not as much weight on there. Or just get a better scale. So there's the layout of the weights that we got. Obviously number two is the heaviest side. So we're going to use some pretty uh, in-depth formulas and equations to figure out you know, where the exact heaviest spot is. And I'm going to say right there. X marks the spot. That ought to do it. All that metal we've lost from rust and balancing, that just makes these high performance lightweight racing drums. And there's the numbers after doing some grinding. Still slightly heavy on that side, so we might give it a little bit more, but uh, number one and three were pretty close to the same. And we actually got heavier on four, uh, which makes sense because we took weight off of the heavy side and it actually um, you know, was acting as a counterbalance so we gained it back on the side that was originally lighter. Now the whole trick to this is repeatability. You have to set this thing up as close as possible on that pivot point every time. That means taking your time and just setting it up until these inside edges just touch on here you know, so that you can keep it uh, everything on an even playing field. Now you're never going to get something like this perfect on a setup like this, you know, unless you get some steel and knife edge everything and, you know, get some really consistent pivot points. There's going to be variance. But, you know, compared to how far these numbers were out to begin with, I think it's going to definitely get it right in the ballpark and as long as we get rid of the shakes, I'll be happy. Smooth like butter. Sometimes all you need is a grinder and some good motivation.